It kind of is quite obvious because of the way the system is developed for education. There's the exam, there's the mm -hmm. grading. Um, I'm trying to think about it in the business context, yeah. maybe in the startup ecosystem where yeah. you're kind of like trying to learn a set your, of procedures yeah, or, you're or something you're trying to train like your that. team yeah. and you want to you want to feel like at this yeah. end of, at the end of this kind of like I don't know how long however long you've made your sprint to yeah. be. Um, what could be a good way? To, what if it's something that's not that easy to assess? What if it's a skill that kind of mm. needs to be put into practice? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if if it can be usually a way to define what you want the learning journey to be all about, this mm -hmm. sprint to be about, is in relation to what you would want people to do. So in business, what you might say is, okay, what we're trying to achieve X, whatever it is, yeah. double growth or what those sorts of things are. Mm -hmm. Now, usually that involves people. Very few businesses involve no people <laughs> making any decisions, right? Okay, mm -hmm. And usually it involves people becoming better at something or being able to develop some characteristics. Mm -hmm. So a good question would be to flip that back to someone and say, okay, what do you need your people to be able to do so that you can hit these goals? And it could be we need them to be 10% better listeners in terms of the customer service. It could be, could be some, something metrified, you know, me, yep. the metrification of things, we kind of hate that in a way, but sometimes it's a nice, easy starting point to say, well, if we get 10% fewer complaints or 10% fewer escalations yep. when we're dealing with customer service, then that might be a good success test. So then you say, okay, what we want to be able to do is have internal confidence that the team has all been brought up to a certain level. So anyone who ever answers a query picks up the phone or does a live chat, at the end of this five phase process, really can answer this new product that we're bringing in or this new service, can answer all the, the top you know, yeah. 10 key things we want. So I don't think it'd be that difficult, but it just needs a little bit of time thinking about what, sure. what would make sense for a yeah. success test. Yeah.